What's up guys, Sure here, and we're doing the battle fair. To be aware, PTS may affect some of these weapons, but since none of the changes are final, we're going to go ahead and act as if it's not a thing. So first up, we're going to do Kingslayer. What it does is when you kill someone with it, it will instantly reload, and it can do great things, like right here, I'm low, and I only have 3 of 6 ammo. Luckily, I kill a guy with my Kingslayer and get full ammo, and I'm able to keep going and do so much damage with the Kingslayer because the Kingslayer actually is the best knife as far as damage goes. It can allow you to do a ton of things, especially with Bear Trap. It is a one shot and one knife kill. And then on top of that, you get to reload. It is just really good. That's basically what it does. Next up is going to be Orion. It has an aiming scope and does a lot better damage when you aim and when you shoot people with it it freezes them so the reason orion is good is it's the best backup weapon with pretty much every gun but for instant shot snipers in particular like quicksilver it is really good with and icebreaker of course but i like to use it with things like crossbow and barracuda as well but it also can be done with rushing because it is good up close and when you get people far away it can really supplement the scout so um, it just really is an all-around versatile shotgun that just does so much and offers so much value to pretty much every other gun. So that's why I like it. And next up is Joker. Joker has super shells, which means every third shot does a super damage. Right here, we're going to shoot this guy, get the double, and then go on for the triple using our Kingslayer to get more. And then we're going to go back for our Joker Kingslayer, and we get the four at once. It's an amazing rushing shotgun one of the best things about it is it shoots so quickly and every third shot does an absurd amount of damage which also helps a lot you can do up to like 4700 damage with a headshot with it it gets really crazy especially once you start factoring in some uh pants like uh daredevil it can start to get really crazy but it doesn't just have to be with scout it's a really good backup shotgun to things like icebreaker because you can hit people with the icebreaker and get them lit up and then just hit them with the joker but the joker does a lot of damage from up close and far away so i really do like to use it with this combo a lot and icebreaker is going to be one of the things in the fair as well so if you already have one you might go for the other uh that's why i'm showing a bunch of different things you can do with it but up next is bastion it's really good and it has long range combat which makes it get more shot damage with distance it fires a burst of three bullets at a time and it has an under barrel grenade launcher it is by far the best um ar i think arbiter is really good but this is really good uh for more range and for something that is a really good backup weapon to things like barracuda and crossbow it can really bring out the best in these kind of weapons just because it does so much good damage and it has that range ability and that can really help you. It's also really going to benefit from stuff like the underbarrel grenade. Like if people go behind a pillar like this, you can use an underbarrel grenade to kill them like that. And you can start going on some pretty crazy streaks. Right here, we do end up getting a multi-kill like crazy. We're going to go ahead and go for the four at once. Go ahead and get that five at once. And why not keep going? Let's go for six. Might even go for seven, eight, nine, you know? You, know, you just can do anything with it. And the best part is you can really do some real damage real quick. And its burst means you're shooting a bunch of bullets at a time. And with things like Daredevil, you can get as much as a thousand headshot damage without much killing. So it can really just start to add up and really get going. But next up is the Icebreaker. And it has a really long six time scope. It marks the target for three seconds. You can see them through walls, they'll be red. And the marked target takes 20% extra damage, which can be huge. And right here, as you can see, it's a really good combo with things like Joker that's in the fair as well. But it can also be with pretty much anything. And one thing, the Joker can really do good damage up close. And the Sniper can do a lot from far away. It makes it a really good pair with something like a Joker but it can be really good with anything. And you don't just have to use like a headshot um, helmet. You can also do things that are like this with undying and it can really just start to get crazy what you can do. 
Just like the Orion, this gun is something that's super versatile and can be used with so many things, and it really supplements a lot of other guns' like weaknesses, and it can really just bring out the best in a lot of guns. So I like to use my icebreaker with a lot of different things. You have used it with Bear Trap, it's one of my favorites. And even after the nerf it got, it's still pretty strong. So next up is going to be Wasp. So Wasps can do extra damage at close range. It increases damage dealt. The owner is frozen or fire. And it reduces reload upon uh, kills. So it pretty much can do a lot. It's one of those things that after you kill someone, you might want to reload. I never do because I'm just an idiot. But we do end up doing it right there. And that allows us to get the fourth kill. And killed by rockets, of course. But then we're going to just try to keep on going and do whatever we can. We're going to use our scout to kill the people that are far away. And when they get up close enough, we're going to go wasp. We're going to try to make sure we get away. And when we come back, we're going to use our wasp be able to kill them. And after we get that kill, we're going to reload because that's going to be a key. Because you never want to have your wasp and be out of reload because that's going to suck. <laughs> So uh, you really want to make sure that you reload after a kill because it goes so much faster. And if you get stuck in between a kill, you really don't want to have to reload then, trust me. But the good news is if you run up and use it just like a shotgun, it works really well and it's super easy to use. So if you have trouble using shotguns, you might want to go Wasp. So Colossus, it absorbs damage explosion and then it restores your armor depending on the damage of the offenses consumable. And last but not least, you have Reanimator, which makes the effectiveness of your healing consumables boosted by 25%, and it also gives you a 20% speed boost. I do not recommend getting the last two things unless you have pretty much everything in the beginning of the video, and all things are subject to change uh, if the PTS goes through, but there's so many people that are mad about so many parts of the PTS. I just went ahead and decided to ignore all of it because, I mean, I can't factor in what's not going to happen and what is going to because no one knows what's going to happen with the PTS stuff. So I just decided to ignore it. Um, you guys are going to have to decide what you think is going to happen. And if you think that, like, shotguns are going to suck, then don't get shotguns. If you think the snipers are going to suck, don't get snipers. Uh, it's really hard to say what will happen. So uh, good luck on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a good day.